All right, guys, so I have been struggling a lot playing against players that, you know, step in and crush the ball. They pick, put so much pace and you feel like you don't have control over the point. Obviously, the ones that are not very good players, you don't have problems. They just knock balls out and into the net and you win the match. But the ones that are really good, that's the biggest problem that I find. Uh, you get a little too tentative defensive and all of a sudden, boom, 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 you lose the match. They hit big serves, they step in inside of the court, they come into the net, they put a lot of pressure on you. And uh, when I was a junior, I struggled playing against those players. So I found, what can I do to beat those players? You know, all these years I tried to learn and, and figure out what to do. So there's a few kinds of uh, big hitters. So let's start with the first one. The first one is the guys that like big pace against them so they feed off that and they redirect and smack the ball back that's how they win points so now the second one is those players that like to hit a big serve come into the net they're all really aggressive at the net and the third one the ones that hit a big ball they get a short ball and they're good at putting the balls away so we're going to look at all those three uh, types of big hitters and we're going to try to find a way how to beat them so stay tuned and we're going to do it all right, so let's, to, uh, let's look at the first kind of big hitters. The first one is the ones that, you know, they crush the ball, they, they step in inside of the court, and they feed off your pace, right? So with those ones, you will feel immediately after you start a match, if you're an aggressive player yourself, you start hitting a lot of deep balls, and all of a sudden you realize the ball's coming faster, it goes into the corners, and you start struggling. So what can you do to beat those players? Now, first of all, you can start with slices. Give them a little bit low balls, especially if the guys are tall, you know, you find they, it's much harder for them to get under the ball. If they have a close to continental or eastern grip, it's hard for them to roll over the ball. Or if they have extreme western or whatnot, throw that low slice, make them pick it up, uh, see what happens then. Now, what else can you do? Try to hit off pace high top spin balls. So obviously, you don't want to risk and hit too many short balls, but if you hit the ball deep cross court, which gives you time to recover and keep yourself in the points a little bit longer, those players do not want to stay in the point too long. They want to keep the points short. So keep that high and heavy deep ball. Now, another thing you can do, obviously, is give them a short ball and see how they deal with it. Sometimes some players are very good moving from side to side, but if they get a shorter ball, they actually knock those balls into the net. So you can try a few points. If it's not working, just toss it in the trash can, say, Sergey was the worst advice you haven't gave me, so let's move on to the next one. In the worst case, you can mix it up a little bit, throw some high ball, slice, and do a variety of shots in the same point. So second kind of players, those ones that come into the net, serving volley, you know, you struggle because they put so much pressure on the first ball of the point, on your returns especially, because you need to hit a good ball at the beginning. So I would suggest to not panic, and actually the best way to do it is stepping closer to the baseline on returns and use shorter backswings and making sure you hit more short angle shots or sh low balls in their fit. Make them hit those low volleys as they come into the net. So closer you are to the baseline, less time they have to to get to the net and volley the first ball on top of the net so that that way you can at least get on the second ball and and, and continue the point now uh, if you stay too far back you probably will have to rip a couple of shots you know trying to pass them use lobs or whatnot but that's a lot of riskier time because they have more time they're probably going to be in the right position at the net and you'll have a little bit harder time actually passing them so that you know to try to keep the ball low make sure sometimes you can hit at them if they're taller players or some have lack of coordination you can hit right at them and see how they deal with those kind of volleys but most of the time low volleys would be the best key for you to go and a lot of times do not change your mind just keep the ball low if you decided to go for a cross court angle on the return stick to your plan do not change your mind just make sure you're trying to do it as best as you can all right and the third type of player those ones they try to go first big ball to get a short ball and then they attack the ball they feed off those short balls so obviously the best strategy keeping the ball deep if you can i know sometimes it might be challenging they go big you get you get out of balance try to lift the ball up usually those players sometimes not really good at coming into the net you know they just stay back and try to push you around with big balls and then try to finish with the forehand usually they use a lot of inside out forehand inside it forehand and they run around a lot so in that case if you see that person running around and trying to use a lot of inside out forehands what you could do is actually hitting a slice down a line 
make a move to for the forehand side, make him hit the ball to your forehand to open up and get on their back end as a, because it's a weaker shot. Uh, or also you can loop high ball down the line, make him hit a high forehand because they're going to cheat a little bit and try to move to their backhand side. Instead, they're going to get the ball to their forehand, which they don't expect. And you give yourself time to recover to the middle, get in the right position where they're going to hit back to your side and then you can get on their back end and get an offense. But those players actually staying in offense and trying to take advantage of the first ball is very important. As well, you see, you can come into the net and put some pressure on them, trying to uh, for them to pass you. Most of the time they hit a little flatter ball. So when you come in, the, the ball is going to come somewhere on your waist level and you can really volley and put some pressure. They're going to knock some balls out. Also, using short slices, bringing them into the net and see how they volley also good some of them could be good at the, at the net so then you obviously have to keep him back at the baseline and not try to bring him in that will cause a lot of trouble for you but uh, any big player really it doesn't matter what style they're playing you can always use variety of different shots uh, slice top spin heavy spin deep or sometimes using off pace shot and then change it to big pace so you want to give them something they're not comfortable with but it all depends on who you're playing against obviously at that day just try to use different shots at the beginning of the set. Don't do it at the end of a second set when you're completely down in the match. So try to find out what the weakness is, what are you supposed to do at the beginning of the match rather than at the end. If you find it out on the first, second game, it's working, just stick to it until you win the match. Do not change your strategies. All right, guys, if you liked our videos and you thought that, you know, it helped you out in your game, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, look under the link below. We have multiple links to Amazon website for our products that we use for our videos. Click on it. If you like it, please purchase those products. And thank you very much. And I'll see you again next time.